Their eyes had been carved out and their mouths had been cut from ear to ear. This really happened in Collingswood, New Jersey. Is the house still there? I mean, you know where it's at. What is up, everybody? Mr. Slipcover Bullet Blake back again with another blue review. And today's movie actually comes from Cauldron, one of my current favorite boutique labels. And it is Michael Costanza's The Collingswood Story. This initially came out in 2002. It is one of like the first screen life movies. I know it's like found footage, but it's actually like the screen life is its own genre where they tell the story through capturing on the screen. It, I was completely disinterested when they first, disinterested? When they first announced this movie, I obviously, I'm really into my boutique labels having like that 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, like, feel to them but this one was actually a surprise i i watched this one first they released two in that wave and this one was quite surprising uh it it's basically about this couple that's trying a whole long distance relationship thing so she moves into this house and shit goes crazy because obviously there's an evil in the house and they talk back and forth on a webcam the entire that's the entire movie so brace yourselves for that it's it was made in 2002 so you got to realize that webcams and chat rooms and stuff were basically like in their infancy like they were not as mainstream as they became obviously we have facebook messenger and shit like that now so chat rooms really have become a thing of the past already even though at this time they were looking to the future this movie as far as like found footage goes it it seems illogical that they would have all this story like cohesively put together but it honestly works i i found myself glued to the tv from the beginning to the end i'm not saying it's a great movie it's it's really not my cup of tea normally so i'm not saying it's like something you really have to watch i i'm basically like cauldron film like i'm i'm a big big supporter of cauldron they're a top label for me top five out of all the boutiques i love cauldron films so this one I wouldn't say it's the worst, but I would say it's it's right in the middle somewhere. Obviously, like not all are going to be winners, but this one's not a loser by any means. I would rate this one at a a six out of ten. So it, take that as you will. I, I feel that's a fair rating for it. The packaging, though, like obviously Cauldron does these cool side slip boxes that really are what won me over in the first place. I love this style packaging. I think it's great. Um, movie goes in, yeah. So, so it's, it's really cool, cool packaging. Like, I know a lot of people collect just for the packaging alone, but this movie was enjoyable too. So you can, you can definitely do it for both. Uh, it, it's gotta, just check it out for yourself. I think I, I'm sure you can probably try it before you buy it if you're not like hardcore into getting every release. But I, I definitely see its merit as a boutique release. Now, as far as special features go, I think there's just some interviews on here. There's Behind the Story, which is a Stephanie D's interview that's like one of the main actresses in the movies. It's also got an a interview with Johnny Burton and Grant Edmonds, which are the other two actors from the movie. And then there's a commentary from the director, there's a gallery, and there's a trailer. The interviews, I mean, they're not... Uh, they're alright. Like, I didn't find a whole... I, I wasn't that interested. I just watched them just because, you know, like, I kind of like to get as much insight about the movie as I can. But they're... They're whatever. It's, it's an early 2000s movie... If you're into the genre, like the screen life films and stuff like that, you'll be into it. If you like found footage movies, you'll probably like it more than people who aren't into found footage movies, just because of the way they shot it and stuff like that. 
The picture does look great. I mean, it's not a super old movie, but I mean, it is 20 years old now, so. Yeah. The Collingswood story. Cauldron Films. I think, I believe this one is still available, at least at the time of posting this video, it is still available, so get your hands on it now if you want to get your hands on it. And yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification button. I'll be putting out reviews and box hauls and all that as we go along. So look forward to those. And until next time, have a good day. There's this house in Collingswood where all these bodies were found.